Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to Dissidia Opera Omnia. We're going to be doing the Balthiers event, level 50. I'm going to go on this solo, and I'm going to show you guys my A-team, kind of what I'm going to do for this, give you guys a couple tips along the way, uh, tell you why, what I'm doing. You know, you've seen a couple of my other videos. If you haven't, um, I go into as much detail as I can as I play the match, so I'll hopefully give you an idea of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But quick tips, guys, for the level 50, you guys are basically going to go in through this. Um, I already completed it. I was going to do a solo myself, but I was like, ah, I'll start recording. So the next part you guys are going to see is actually me in the quest already. And I sat there, I'm like, I might as well throw the, on, uh, the record button on and show you guys that you can solo this by yourself on the quest level 50. Which is not something like, whoa, that's amazing. It's, it's pretty decent as long as you guys got decent characters. You guys can see I got crystal level 50 for Squall and Cloud, got their weapons, and I have them level 50. I have a video out before this one that's a guide in how to get all the crystals that you guys want. It's going on till March 12th right now, so I would go check out that video, see what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, I have a bunch of level 50 characters over there. I have a lot of them at a high crystal rate, and I'm still going. I've only used a couple of uh, the strategies I use, but... The best thing you guys want to do is bring in synergy. I'm going to talk about this in the beginning of the video as well. Bring in synergy. So, obviously, Terra, Terra's really good. Terra's really good. Edge is really good because, and both here, because they have synergy. They're glowing the white, as you guys can see around their portrait. They're the only ones blinking, meaning they're going to get extra boost for doing this quest. And that's pretty straightforward, so you know that tip's good. And when I start this quest off, like I said, I recorded the fight before I record this intro. So I talk about which characters are good and why, but for now, this is the quest, this is the, the group I went with it. And uh, yeah, enjoy the pre-recording that I had already. <laughs> All right, so we're here in the fight. Uh, again, my, my characters are Cloud, Squall, and Terra. Terra's in here because she has synergy with this co-op quest. Or if you do it solo like I am, just to get the rewards out of the way, you can go solo as well. Uh, the, de the default, of doing solo is that you only get one summon which kind of sucks if you had three people that's three summons that's a lot of damage and you go right through this like no problem but i want to try solo see if i can do it uh squall and cloud are here because i have their weapons and i have the max dealt at 50 out of 50 for both of them so i brought in my best characters all that's all you guys gotta do is bring in your best characters and i'm pretty sure you'll figure out something to do uh zidane's really good to use your stroll is really good to slow down the turn rate on him bringing in both the for his uh, steel ability, bringing in Edge for the synergy as well. Synergy characters and your best characters. Just go for that, guys. Uh, even Vanille can be really good in here just to dispel him and uh, Yuna for being a battery. Uh, what do you call it? A bravery battery. But here we go. This is my party right here, guys. I'm going to start off. Terra's being targeted, so we know the deal. If Terra's being targeted, every other character should be raising up their... Uh, bravery to do HP attacks when they're not being targeted. For the first turn, I'm just going to go in with this. And now that it's Cloud's turn here, I'm going to build him up a little bit more. Terra's not being targeted, but Terra's got no bravery. So I'm going to knock in that bravery right there. We're going to bring him down to that. So I'm going to use Squall's 2494 here, just in case. Squall gets to go another turn because I guess I have a passive for that. I have a high turn rate for using stuff like that. Uh, going for the bravery attack here. And you're being targeted, so you can't do nothing. You're stuck like that. So, here comes the attack. 1490, so I got to make sure I have about 1500 bravery for every character. Because I'm pretty sure every character here shares the, uh, the same defense except for Squall. He's got a 5 star. Uh, so, I do got to be careful here because he's being targeted right now. So, I'm going to use my chant and go for my hit here. Put him down 1157. I'm going to get hit with a bravery attack no matter what. I probably could have done meteor chant and stop that. Uh, but it's okay. I'll take some HP damage just to bring in the easy, that easy bravery break there. So, Cloud's still being targeted. Can't do anything about it. Cloud's going to be sitting on the sideline while everybody else like Terra gets to do 7,300 in bravery. That does lower the enemy's defense, which is going to help us a lot to break them a lot quicker. Uh, Squall's just going to do his attack here. I should have done an HP attack because it might switch to Squall. But it looks like he really, really, really wants uh, Cloud dead. So let's try to bring that down there. Does it will it? It will. It will. So let's do it. Let's go for that Meteor Plus. Try to get down that uh, bravery damage he's got going on Cloud and give him a break. There you go. And I'm going to go HP attack here. So we also slow down his turn right there. So he's only going to do a power weapon. Again, a lot of damage, but uh, we got to be careful. So he's going for an all attack. I'm just going to build up everyone as much as I can. And not going to take any chances here. We can't get broken, so just go for full... A full bravery attack on this. I got so many turns where I probably could have done some HP. But again, I'd rather not take the chance. So, here we go. He's going to go into his mode right now. Of course, I get another turn here. I'm going to go for a meltdown. 
Let's go Meltdown, and then we'll let him do his attack. So he's going to do his AoE attack here. It does a lot of damage, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that's all right. He's targeting Cloud again. My God, what's with you in Cloud? Uh, I'm going to use my my HP Bravery attack here. Get some HP Bravery so Cloud doesn't die. I'm going to go for a Cross Slash here because I think I'm going to be pretty safe. And to take into account here, guys, he is now at the 66% mark. 20,000 HP damage done to him. So when he gets his turn, he's going to go into Cannon Mode. So right now, he just has a bunch of buffs on him. If you hold him down, attack up and defense up. So right now, he only got that going for him. So... I got to be very, very careful after this next part, but that's where I'm saving my summon for. So we got that. Can we up our turn rate? No. So we're going to do a normal attack here, and we're going to go solid barrel to get some more build up here. So Cloud's going to get another turn there to turn his up because he's going to need it. There we go. 2,100. Wave cannon mode activated. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that would have been really, really bad. But he was still activated into a braver attack. I mean, an HP attack. No, no, a braver attack. So I got super, super lucky there. Um, he's going for the all damage here, <laughs> which, as you guys can see, uh, that's going to break my my cloud. So I'm going to go for a summon here. This might be a little too early, but if I'm lucky, I'll go through this without a problem. So with that being said, I'm going to go solid barrel here. Didn't break him. Can we go Meteor Chant? No, we should go with a Meteor Plus here. I already got my stuff fully leveled up, so I, got, I already got my first chant. Now I'm going to go for my second chant here. As for Cloud, I'm going to go Cross Slash because I want to try to get that stun in there. If we can get that stun in there, we'll get that little bit of extra turn there. No, but we do power him down. Now, when he goes into Cannon Mode, all you got to do is break his Bravery, and he goes into this mode right here, so it gives you a bunch of extra turns. It's really good. So, Meteor Plus, I'm going to do a shit ton of damage right now, guys. 8,241 while lowering his speed. Turns out really good. I'm going to go for my HP Bravery attack here, just to get that in there. And for another Meltdown Plus here, or the Chant at least. So, let's see if we can get another Cross Slash in there, because we got a ton of turns to fix our... Uh, what do you call it? To fix our Bravery. For now, I'm just going to go for all these attacks, and maybe... Just maybe I'll be able to break this guy. So let's go for a solid barrel right now to get that extra damage in there for bravery at 417. Uh, let's go for the break. And I think we should probably kill this guy with this HP attack against the wall. So here goes first HP attack. You get bonus damage for doing HP attacks. So always release these HP attacks if you're safe. Because when he hits the wall, it gets a little bit of multiplication there for extra. Uh, so this is bringing us down just a Terra. He is going to hit Squall. So I'm going to use Solid Barrel here to get as much Braver as I can. Hopefully it's going to go around 2,000. 2, it is over 2,000. I'm going to go Meteor Chant here. And we should be good to go, guys. I just want to be just in case here. There's 21. There's Power Weapon. We're in the clear. Good game, guys. Hopefully. Let's see if I can get some extra damage here. Here's the HP Meteor Plus. Meteor Plus is going to shine down on this. Boom! Didn't even need the last break, guys. There you go. But if I did get that last break, you can pretty much control this guy as much as you can. So remember, around 66% HP, you got to go ham at him. Uh, this turned out really good. Even though it's not like, uh, what do you call it? A perfect synergy team or bringing in characters that are really good like Zidane or uh, Yustola or Balthier. You guys can still do it with your own team. And again, I've been running the same team this whole time. I kind of focused on them and I only pulled for their weapons, got lucky. And there you go, guys. That is part five. So honestly, like I said before in this game, I believe you can basically do whatever you guys want. If you guys can pull it off, uh, then you're good to go. So there's all the quests. Now I got to do this 20 times. I think it's 20 times or 30 times. I think it's 30 times. 30 times to get a bunch of gill. And then there's the co-op mode where we got to do it uh, right here. Complete the event quest. This guy co-op cannot complete as a guest to get the skip tickets. I just wanted to do a little bit of a draw, I guess. Um, the only two draws going on right now are these two, but if I can get another of Terra's weapon, I'm going to try that. So, I'm going to try one ticket here with you guys, see what happens. If I get lucky, I get lucky. If I don't, I don't. Come on. Five star? No, there's a three star. All right, three star. I'm going to do at least three per banner that I actually want something out of there. Uh, both ears weapon, not that great. Edge's weapon, not that great. I just want another Terra's weapon because I really... Do like her character. She's going to be future-proof later on. So here is the last pull, guys. A four-star. Hey, I'll take a four-star. Better than that three-star. And it is Infinity for Terra herself. So Jeweled Ring raises HP by 680. I'll take that. Should I do a bonus one? I'll do a bonus one. I'm over 60 of them. I'll do a bonus one. Why not, guys? 
Anything can happen. Anything like a three star. Okay. <laughs> do I want to do another one? No. I want to save these for when 35 CP weapons come out. So that's my luck. I can't really do anything about it. Uh, if you guys want to leave anything down below to help out people, your parties, what you use, how easy was it for you? Uh, did you have any struggles as a level 50? But that is solo level 50 quest. Wasn't too hard. I can't wait to see what this level 70 is like. And I'm actually really excited to do that video. But again, guys, if you want to add anything to this video, if you've seen anything that I could have improved in, let us know down in the comment section. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll see you in the next one.